Hello everyone, what the man at 1.4 subscriber reaction time! Wow! Oh my god, it's time for another special movie reaction time, and today we'll be watching Sword Online Ordino Scale! Wow! More like re watching the movie. Well, let's just say I put out a poll not long ago asking you guys what you guys wanted me to react to. Well, let's just say Ordino Scale, Pancreas, uh, Akira, Totoro were all part of the list and stuff like that. But let's just say what surprised me the most was the fact that, well, 60 of you guys want me to react to alternate scale whether 47 of you guys want to react to I want to eat your pancreas so let's just say oh my god I did not expect this result to react I was expecting audio scale to be like the last place but apparently Akira was last place so that really surprises me because like the taste in you guys are really unique indeed so let's just say oh my god audio scale is a rewatch indeed because like I actually watched this in the cinemas like three years ago I think I think it was three or two years ago in England cinema so yeah I went to the cinema with my friends and we go and watch Order in the Scale it was actually like a sequel to season 2 so I was like waiting for a season 3 announcement instead we got a movie which is like, prop or, like a proper sequel to season 2 so it was quite enjoyable because like the animation where I ate one picture so like they sort of stepped up a bit like the, some of the fight scenes were so amazing and the, mu the music by Yuna was so amazing indeed Rick B. Bark oh my god that's my, like, my personal favorite so let's just say the, they really bang on with the ordinary scale because I really enjoyed the movie and I really ha rated it highly even my friend that hate SAO rated highly too so oh my god ordinary scale really hit the mark and of course you know we have this scene at the end of the movie which pretty much confirms Alice's station which I've been reacting so far so oh my god it's because of that movie Alice's station was confirmed so two years later Alice's station 2018 release and of course the movie was like a proper prequel to it of course it's like an original series rather than adaptation to a light novel yeah yeah, no like novel fan, no like novel readers get to know what's happened in the movie. So that's what that's what's good, good about movies like an original sequel. So oh my god, we get to see Yuji and Yuna being the you know the villain of the series. Although there's a reason behind the the actions of, of course. So let's just say I don't really remember much from the movie. I remember some of the key moments, but like not every single moment of the movie. So that's why it's a perfect chance for me to rewatch it again. So like I have a few of SAO again because like you know more of the underworld kind of finished like not long ago. I reacted to the like, final episode was supposed to be the final. episode Episode. and we had to wait another three months for like the you know the second half of the war of the underworld so yeah you know grand entrance of Shinon and pretty much ended there so it's kind of like a, a dagger to my heart because I really enjoy war of the underworld so far and of course this movie so I don't think I'm gonna enjoy this movie as much as I enjoy war of the underworld because Alice is not in it but who cares I mean it's like a series like fucking three years ago and of course you know I want not really like uh, the ordinary scale and I like I said my even my friend like they, 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 they hate SAO oh my god they, I'm really excited to check out this movie again because I, that, I haven't had get a chance to re-watch the movie when the BD was released for Torrent but, but let's just say I, I, that by that time Alice Station was out and I was like really excited to react to Alice Station instead so I didn't have a chance to like, go back to uh, like watch the movie again although I heard that the BD has you know asana unnecessary uncensored moment so I'm really looking forward to that and so other than that on the ordinary scale yeah I really enjoyed this movie like back in the cinemas back in the UK and of course I really enjoyed my time watching it although like I said I don't really remember everything from the movie I don't remember the fact that you know there's some you know some um, beautiful fight scenes some asana sad moments and that's pretty much it and then of course you know uh, how can I forget the fact that Kirito proposed to asana in the end but let's just not get into that so that's all I can remember from the key events and then, of course you guys will hear my review of it and and then some reaction to it so this is what you guys came here for so without further ado let's get started with the reaction shall we Okay, magician, let's get started with the reaction, shall we? Oh my god, after three years since I last watched the movie in the cinema in the UK, I finally get to rewatch it again. Like I said, I haven't get to a chance to rewatch it since, you know, along the way, there's the, I've been busy, the season 3 was announced, so I just might as well just watch season 3. So this is like the second time I watched this movie, so after three years of, you know, since I watched it in the UK. So, yeah. Ah. Oh. It's been a long time, man. Let's just see how much stuff that I, I forgot and now I remember. So here we go in three, two, one, go! Aniplex! Oh my god, it's been so long since I watched this movie. I just can't wait to see my girl, the, my girl, my former girl Yuna and Shinon too in action. And yeah, I come to think of it, this is like a very rare time I get to see Kirito in action since you haven't seen him in action like a year ago. Since like March, when he got like in after episode 24. And after that, he's just basically a vegetable. But this, uh, watching the movie, get to see him in action again, kind of reminds us that like, why is he such a badass character? Or should I say, most hated character. 
And yes, I'm crying, stuff like that. Oh yeah, by the way, this is BD. Hey, hey, there we go. Asuna and Kirito having some romantic moment. By the way, they are the most recognizable couples in the whole of the anime community. Mm-hmm. Well, she is a city girl. Her mother's rich after all. <laughs> well, she, her mother came from the countryside after all, but yeah. Uh, yeah, I just love it how they just promise and then stuff happens along the way. Mmm, <laughs> look at her smoothing closer to Kirito. Oh, dude, for God's sake, just get married already. There we go. Well, that ring is basically in this, wor in this world, so yeah. But still, just get married already. Just, oh God. Asa, if you don't marry Kirito, then you know, dog girls will be after him. <laughs> I gotta say, Asuna has one of the longest hair. I don't know how she managed to maintain it. <laughs> Yuki Kajira, of course, it had to be Yuki Kajira making the background music. Hey, hey! Of course, oh, of course, Every, everything started, the headgear, the nerve gear. Everything started from there. And she should, should have been good, but until the second half of the second, first season. Yeah, everyone got stuck in a world, battle of survival, basically you die, you die. You die in the game, you die in real life. Mm -hmm. And that's where the legendary Kirito was born. And then this is when the relationship blooms. And yeah, some creepy faces too. Mm -hmm. I know, right? They get trapped in, in the Nerve Gear for two years. I'm still surprised they hardly survive. I, the whole the human body survives that. Well, obviously you have you no know, drugs. Yeah. Yeah. To, to be honest, I actually prefer Kirito with long hair. I know that kind of sounds weird, but yeah. <laughs> mm hmm. Yep. Normal lives. Hey, that's from the opening, by the way. Mm hmm. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Say, oh, ho, ho. So online, ordinal scale. Hey, let's do this. Kaiba was trapped inside a bubble. Uh, inside a, some, some bubble. And here comes another headgear. Yep. Ogmo. Yep. To be honest, I wish scientists in our world managed to create something like this. Ogmo is better than having an iPhone, okay? Where you can just like, do this in front of you. Dude. If only scientists can go, uh, our scientists can go this far in creating an Ogma. I would love to buy one. But so sadly, uh, in our society, nothing is going to be more advanced than an iPhone. Well, yet. <laughs> yeah, I know. You get to play games. You get to chat. You get to like, f uh, like have a, like a thing in front of you just to tap instead of like p taking stuff out of your pocket. Mm -hmm. No risk at all, huh? No risk at all, huh, huh? Yep, you can exercise too because you can like imagine, uh, virtually imagine yourself running away from something. Every day is an adventure. That's a, like the a best thing you can have in your life. Mm -hmm. Rather than have a boring life. I just wish, yeah, like I said, I really wish we had this uh, Ultimo gear. Every day is like an adventure. Mm-hmm. You get to buy stuff too. <laughs> Amazing. Mm-hmm. 
I know, right? So basically, the more points you gain, the better price you get. Mm -hmm. Hey, Yuna! I just say, I love three of her songs. Ubiquitous UB, Break Me Buck, and what's the other one again? Uh, anyway, so yeah. I love, especially I love Break Me Bark. I just love that song. I have her song since 2017, okay guys? I've been listening to her song since 2017 and I still cannot properly uh, sing her songs. Except for Bar Break Me Bark, by the way. Ah, Pac-Man, Pac-Man. And look at Kirito bored inside his harem. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Kirito, you're hanging out with girls. Uh, it kind of feels weird seeing Kirito again since I haven't seen him in action, like, like this since March. <laughs> of course he wants to have the fun. But most importantly, he wants his alone time with Asuna. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Exactly, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Yep. Of course, they always go for sweets. Of course. And curious, um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna fight with you guys for sweets. <laughs> or he didn't order anything anyway, so still. <laughs> look at his bored face, man. Seriously, look at his bored face. He wants some adventure. <laughs> mm hmm. Uh, hey. <laughs> Just love it how he just say stuff out of his mind. <laughs> See? Dude, this is better than iPhone. So, yep, here we go. The cringy moment of this episode. I mean, this movie. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she's a big Yuna fan. And then the, here comes the most cringy mo This sticks in my head because I just like this year in the cinema. I was like this. Oh my god. Did she just did that? Like now? Literally, I was like in the cinema. Oh my fucking god. Like I'm doing it right now even. Oh my god. Seriously? In the middle of a shopping mall? <laughs> she gonna sing. <laughs> this has to be the most cringiest moment of this <laughs> Oh my god, I would, if that was me, I would die of embarrassment. Dude, do this in a karaoke box. <laughs> Run away! <laughs> Of course she's going, I think. I don't know, but she's going anyways. If I feel like it. I should not just say you're going, he'll, he'll be going. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, of course, being loyal to the food dive. Being loyal to the food dive. I mean, it kind of makes sense since you, since you keep on you've been using the same product for a long time and telling you to move on to a new product is kind of hard. Oh, you don't say. You don't say. Mm-hmm. 
Mhm. Mhm. And Kirito is going. <laughs> you talk on. Kun. Yeah, if, if girls do that to you, you have to say yes. <laughs> yes, here we go. The first fight of the movie. Hey, Klein. Hey, the side character. <laughs> hey. Of course you did. Of course you did. How could you say no to Asuna, your girlfriend? Hey. Ah, uh, yeah, let's get ready. Here we go. See, even cosplay like, you can even cosplay like this. God. Uh, man, if only our scientists can create something like this. Dude. Oh my god, this is so cool, man. This is so cool. Just watching this scene again just makes me really, really want uh, uh, I'll, we, I'll to get to have it, get a hold of that technology. Here we go, the first fight. Mm hmm. Samurai Lord. Yeah, exactly right. So this is like a fresh new system for Kirito. So he basically he won't be as powerful like he is in the, ga in the game from iCrad. So he has a hero struggle. Hey, it's Yuna. I'm just hoping we get to see Yuna again in the second half of the War of the Underworld. Because I really, I really enjoy her as a character. And her music. 10 minutes. Bam! Let's do this! Hey! Oh! Oh! Damn! Oh, yeah, by the way, they can feel pain. Hey! Do you know, to be honest, it, can, it would be kind of scary if you actually see it like full. Straight on, like a, like a 4D image. <laughs> oh! Finish. Wait, can I feel pain? I, I forgot. Can I feel, actually feel pain? Oh! Damn, this Samurai Lord is a badass. Mm <laughs> hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> look at the, look at the team goes. Hey. Oh ho, ho, nice block. By the way, I didn't say A1 pictures just love the way they put a lot of effort into animating this fight scene right here. Oh nice. Oh, hey. <laughs> and there we go, the villain of the series, of the movie, of, of this original scale. <laughs> hey, boom. Yeah, exactly right, he's struggling. Our boy Kirito is struggling. Gotta try straight on, huh, Kirito? Like you always do. <laughs> oh, <my shit. laughs> ah, you suck. He got fat. Kirito got fat. Boom. Oh. And of 
course, of course. Hey, <laughs> nice. Wow, just like that, he defeated the Samurai Lord. But you know, he's just here to defend you now. Hey, it's AG. I know, right? And not yet, of course. Hmm, here we go. Boom. Oh, wow, nice one. Of course, man. Kirito, he's gonna be she's jealous. Hey, hey, one more minute to go. Asuna, hey, hey there we go. I'll go Asuna, showing who, how he's done. Oh God, look at the colorization, the animation of the scene, man. Even picture really put a lot of effort into it. Sao, in one well, of the fight scenes, War the one where it even speaks for itself too. Oh, look at the look at the sh the full sh the sh shading, man. Oh, nice one, Edgy. Hmm. Sweet chi. Hey. Asuna, the one to finish her off, so she get all the benefits. Omedito. Let me get the. Uh, if I remember correctly, the service is a kiss. <laughs> a, a kiss from Yuna. Yeah, <laughs> I know, right? Kirito, you're jealous, huh? I know, right? <laughs> I know, right? Some nice Yuri there. Mm -hmm. AG, who's uh, number one is mysterious. No one got it out yet. yet. <laughs> oh yeah, just look at a uh, climbing. Just like to play around, and he's gonna be targeted. Dude, really just follow an arrow and just lead it to a trap? Yeah, it's part of a trap. Hey, hey. Hmm. Do you really think he'd beat number two? Hey, you and behind him. Hey. And he's fucked. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Hey, my girl Shinan. Well, my former girl Shinan. <laughs> if only Alice is in top of the group, man. If only Alice is here. <sighs> yeah, I know, right? Kirito actually struggle because he showed no, he's he, that he's incapable of fighting in real life yet. Hmm. <laughs> Why is he always getting the attention? <laughs> mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I know, right? <laughs> oh, how cute. How cute. Yay. Of course, you really think Shinon and whoever the black guy is um yeah you know they have no interest in the self stuff
Well, I do wonder why. I do wonder why. <laughs> mhm. Mm well, I don't think so. I don't really think so. Mhm. Mm and this and Kirito and Ashton still kind of struggle. It is because AG is the one that does all the damage. Mhm. Mm yep. Exactly right. But there's a reason why they have putting SAO bosses. Mhm. Mm Mm-hmm. What does she want? <laughs> of course, man. Even if he's in a relationship, they still want to want his like um you know, his stuff. I love it how Klein just being rejected to the side character. You nah. Mm-hmm. Mm hmm Of course. He has a black book of the of you know those from the SEO survive so that's about every SEO. Sugu. Yeah, so mm hmm Yeah, exactly, right? You 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 didn't fight so well in the previous fight. Mm hmm Man, Kirito is such an old school. He didn't like using the Okmo Okmo device. <laughs> Institute event. Toto I mean Tokyo Institute of Technology, right? Hmm. <laughs> yep. You just scroll down to the page where it provides the biggest hint who's involved in all this. And he's diving again. Hey, Asuna! Mm-hmm. <laughs> Hmm. Now they have some alone time. Perfect. <laughs> yeah, sure, sure. He can only make noodles. Exactly. You see, noodles, pasta. Oh yay! Some parents for face to face with boyfriend, love it. If only we get to see that in analysis station. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm of course, man. How you? How do you not love the new device? Mhm. Mm He's worried because you know, once there's a new technology, the other technology become obsolete. So he's just worrying about no, not not people gonna use the the nerve gear anymore. Oh, oh, here we go, here we go, here we go, yo, yo, now that is some nice fan service right there. Hmm. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> of course, Asuna's going by herself. 
Hey! Oh, yeah! Oh, ho, 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 ho. I know, right? <laughs> no erotic thoughts, please. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Here we go, here we go, here we go. This is where everything goes to shit. Oh damn, look at that griffin. I think it's a griffin. Hey, you nice here. So, what's... Start though! Mm hmm Hmm. 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 Oh! Oh, more boss! Another boss! Hey, hey! Yashi koi koto ba wo nakushu shita yami no naka. My god, I wish Yuna can sing more song, man. I just love her music. And Edgy is here too, Look, hunting down SAO survivors. <laughs> hey, hey! Oh, look at Klein, man, showing off his seal. He's no longer showing that he's no longer the side character. I know, right? You feel pain, actual pain. Oh! Oh! I know. Oh, oh, hey, hey. dude, he's he's cheating, man. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Oh ho ho! Oh man, I feel so bad for Klein, man. <laughs> oh my God, I feel so bad for Klein, and he's fucked. He is fucked. Oh, oh my God! Look at the heart rate, man. Look at the heart rate. Despite, uh, despite knowing the reason why AG does all this, I'm still gonna hate him for what he's doing right now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh, bam, bam, like we saw in Frozen 2. Hey, look at Asuna leading the fight, man. This is why she deserved all the, the focus. She needs more screen time in War of the Underworld. Because she can actually lead. Hey. Oh, oh. 
Oh, baby, there we go. Asuna again finished off the fight. So what, another kiss? <laughs> Wait, was it another kiss? I forgot. <laughs> yep. <Yeah>. Kiss, kiss. <laughs> oh, back off, back off. <laughs> back off, back off. <laughs> no one kiss me, kisses me other than Kirito. Yep, that was that's Klein there. <laughs> mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, you know, SAO boss and stuff like that. People have been pretty much promoted to play the SAO game again, the Ancrack game. Mm hmm. Well, yeah, to obviously. Hmm. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah, they will. <laughs> oh my god, I just love how they're just complaining. Hey! Mm-hmm. Hey. Hmm. I wonder what's this. Seems like uh, someone's like uh, tracking the the essay of survivors. Mhm. Mm of course she is, because you're not not in it. Anniversary. Yep. Let's go and see the shooting star. Hmm, of course they had to bring you their daughter after all. Their daughter is her their daughter after all. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, just get married already for God's sake. Just get Look at Kirito just practicing his skills, man. He's no he's not gonna be the badass Kirito in this movie yet. Lag! I just love that. Lag. <laughs> love that. He's making excuses right now. Hey! 
Whoa, that's that that surprises me. A ghost. Hmm. <laughs> Yep, that's you now. I mean, it's kind of obvious though, with the red eyes. She's pointing at that direction. Mm hmm Yep, she's a walking ghost. Yep. It is kind of scientific nowadays that the ghosts actually exist, by the way. Dude, Kirito, she's pointing that way. Turn that way. Hey, <laughs> Asuna with her fancy looking hair. Like I said, her hair is so long that she can do whatever she wants with it. Jesus Christ, I don't, to be honest, I don't like that hairstyle. Yeah, that's edgy. Edgy, I'll call him edgy for now on. Kabun? Oh, so she does recognize him. Yep. Asuna recognizes him. Because, you know, they're in this farther clan after all. Mm -hmm. So, aka, he's the weakest one. <laughs> the girl was pretty much yeah don't really have to bring that up again well it's because Kiryu joined the guild that's why he and Asuna you know bloomed <laughs> I just love how Kiryu just, just you know just loves to tease Asuna well he's not teasing but you know still yep Oh my god, just say Kirito, god damn it. Mm -hmm. I, I'm pretty sure her mother would say, oh, I'm pretty sure it's Kirito, but she's just going to like confirm. That like 100% confirm. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You don't say. Wow. You don't say. So basically, the bosses appear in, 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 uh, like aligned to the map in um, iCrad. So, might as well just go to the location, I guess. Mm-hmm. 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 Uh, of course. He's he's such an old school man. Or maybe he's just making excuses not to get involved in AR fights. Mm-hmm. Oh, dude, he's hospitalized <laughs> for increasing heart rate. Eh. Uh, yeah, you don't want to let them know that they go on a good day and they're just gonna get jealous. I'm pretty sure they can, I'm pretty sure she not figured it out, but still. 
So Kirito is right now home alone. So let's check out Kirito's cooking. Klein. <laughs> you got a second. I can't get in touch with you, Klein. You know anything, Kazuto? Hey, look at him cooking. Yep. <laughs> I mean, pasta is actually the mo one of the most easiest thing to do at home. <laughs> oh yeah, like they can make that in real life. Dude, remember in the game, just do this, ding, 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 and done. Hey. Oh, you do. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, obviously she's dead. Mm hmm. <laughs> I just love how you just bring back to the shooting star camp. Mm. Of course they're excited. This is like the the alone time. Mm hmm Edgy. I call him Edgy. <laughs> Black Swordsman. He'll be like his last obstacle. AKA Kirito. So this is downtown Tokyo. I know this place by the way. I know this place. It's in Shin um, Shinjuku. Seriously, man, I just hate it when it just appear out of nowhere. Mm hmm. Follow her. That way. Dude, she's pointing that way. Just look that way, God's sake. Wow, why am I not surprised? Why am I not surprised? Well, more like he's being like tortured. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Wait, is this where Asuna... Oh, okay, I think this is where Asuna lost. Mm. <laughs> medic, medic, <laughs> medic. Mm. 
Hey, it's time. Oh my god, I have to say, this background scenery, again, A1 Pictures does an amazing job with it. So it's a giant lobster this time. Yuna again. Ha <laughs> hey! Hey, you be, you be, you you be. Wait, this is not YouTube, you be. My bad, my bad. <laughs> She's the tiger. <laughs> oh, you, uh, of course, Asuna, man. Well, obviously, okay, I have some experience fighting this. Ah, uh, here we go, AG. To observe and to attack. She's the hooded girl after all. Mm hmm. AG. <laughs> that's that's nothing. <laughs> oh, of course, man. Oh, of course, man. <laughs> hey, nice one, Liz. It's time for a grand finale. Hey, some creepy background songs. Hurry, one more time. Saddam, no, he don't walk on. I, ah, hey, bigger boss is here, guys. Yep. What? What? No, no, I don't think that's the Pina. Dude, that's not the Pina you are thinking. See? You see? It's the, it's the uh, monster in disguise. <laughs> oh! Two, two big bosses. Mm-hmm. I know, right? A tough one. <laughs> hey. Oh. And here we go. Oh. Oh. That got hurt, man. Here we go. Here we go. Asuna losing her SAO memories. Oh god. Fucking AG push seal cards just to force Asuna to come safer. Oh ho ho! Mm. Oh, no use, man. He has a cheat code on him. Mm, look who's talking. If only Kirito figured out this sooner, he'll beat the shit out of AG, but that will come later in the movie. Hey! Oh, look at the graphics, man. Time's up.
So no points for everyone. No bonus points, man. They don't really give a shit. They already care about the bonus points. She's not okay, man. Here comes the drama. It's not your fault, Silka. It's because AGs have been an asshole. Yep. She's struggling. To, she's struggling to remember. Ah, uh, here we go. Here we go. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep, all those memories are go. Yep, nightmares of oh, losing her memories of the time spent together. Oh my god, there's so much memories of season one. To be, I, I admit to you, admit to you guys, I haven't got a chance to rewatch season one since I watched it back in 2012, or was it uh, 2012? Yep. Yeah. I only like focus on season two and then the movie and then season three. I only watch like recap episodes. Hey, her memories are fading away. This is not good, man. She's forgetting how much she loves Kirito back in Aincrad. Burn. Hmm. Hmm. Oh dear. Oh dear. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, basically, if you if any SAO survivor loses the the AR game, it, um, their memory are wiped that wiped clean. Of at the time in Ancrad. Oh, here we go. Yeah, I know, right? They live for the year and two years and a half. That's how she used against Alice. <laughs> oh shit! Here we go. Basically, she lost her vital memories of how much she loved Kirito in that. Mm -hmm. It's basically the side effect of what happens if you lose an AR game. And now Kirito is taking actions. Hey, isn't that the same technology used for? 
<sighs> Yuki. Yeah, this is why they brought up the SAO bosses to elicit the neurons in the brain of their time in SAO. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, it's not her fault. It's not her fault. It's the technology's fault. She's not brain dead, okay, at least. Mm -hmm. She just have some am amnesia of losing her memories. I know that is actually a big deal, by the way. She losing those vital memories. Mm -hmm. Yep, with that serious face, could be. I know, shocking. She still has some memories of them together, like in the real world, rather, but not in the SAO world. See? She's trying to retrace her way of doing things. She's breaking down. She's breaking down. Mmm. There we go. Stress. She's just so stressed out of those lost memories. Nothing, nothing. So bring her back to the familiar places to see if her memory returns. I don't, it's not happening right now. <sighs> this. Is that a sandwich that she made? I think it was a sandwich she made. Mm hmm Yeah, even you go and get into her human form enough to try and see if the little memories is still not enough. Mm-hmm. Now, now this motivates Kirito to take action too. So at least, kind of, I'm kind of glad. I I I may sound like a villain to say this, but I'm kind of glad this happens to Asuna so that he kind of get Kirito off his uh, seat, uh, seat to get involved this time rather than sit by. Because he's like basically procrastinating from taking part in AR, AR uh, the augment games, or the you know, scale games. No, yep, there we go. There we go. There we go. Here we go. She's crying. Let her have her time. Because all those memories are really important to her. All those memories are the reason why she's like this right now, before the fucking AG happened. As much as I hate him for what he just did to Asuna and the uh, and the uh, uh, Klein, but the reason behind his actions, it's kind of understandable. Well, still though, I know it's sad. It's sad to be the weak one. 
when you're the weak one, you have to find ways to become the strong one. And then that's when he messes love is alive. Mm hmm. Poporo, it means Sapporo, right? <laughs> you know, due to copyright reasons, they cannot use the official name. And that was. Yep, a lot of change for him too. Yep, even he lost it. Yep. Mm -hmm. I mean, obviously he doesn't have the best memories, but still he has some memories of time we spent with Kirito. There we go, Kirito is now taking this seriously. He's gonna take this seriously now. Hey, hey, watch out, watch out. He's now gonna take this seriously in order to, you know, figure out how to fix this whole situation. Nah, <laughs> bullshit. Dude, they, they think he just said, did, did this just to like, you know, prevent them from uh, fighting the ex-bosses so that he could get other points, so he's not working. So Kirito, our boy Kirito is back guys, he's back to his detective side, in, uh, solving how to fix this whole mess up situation. AG. Hey! Looking for AG. <laughs> mm -hmm. Exactly. I mean, obviously, they have the memories of SAOs, the time spent in Aincrad. Like, and never like Asuna. Mm -hmm. Basically, the uh, the baseline uh, of the mem of what could make their relationship like what it is right now. Mm -hmm. Hey, let's go. She is here. Mm -hmm. It is dangerous, but she's not a SAO survivor. Exactly. There we go. She's not a SAO survivor, so she's fine. Ah, oh, of course, she none. <laughs> like they did, like what happened, like what they, what they did back in GGO. Oh, so basically, it's like a GGO. Reunion. <laughs> when I really wish I can see more kids and and uh, she now fighting together like they did in GGO. Here we go. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. Another one. You know, they're, they're speeding up the the process to get SAO survivors to lose their memories. There we go. Hey! hey. He's gotta break it. <laughs> Oh, 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 
there we go. See if you is following it. You is following it to, to, to like uh, trace it to see where it leads to. Obviously, there will be a block though. There we go, a block. <laughs> oh damn! Oh ho! Oh ho! Oh! Blasted! <laughs> hey! Nice one, Shinon. Kyoto, don't fight, go, go, go rushing recklessly. Remember, if you lose your memories, you're fucked. <laughs> hey! Nice one! So our Kyoto boy is back, just like that, because he's more fired up this time. <laughs> hey, oh, of course, man, of course. Shinon, remember that Shinon is technically in love with Kirito. She's just not gonna admit it, she's kind of still in love with Kirito. So she's taking advantage of it. And yes, you know, chase after the ghost. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Get one free drink. Rich coffee. Now you decide to go back to the location where you're pointing. That. There we go. Yep, that's where the technology is made. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, well, well. He's a suspicious one indeed. He's a suspicious one indeed. Of course, it has to be Kirito. Hmm. No, 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 no. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. He has a good point there. <laughs> He's basically running away from the question. Oh, of course, go one to one with him. Dig deeper. There's a reason why he's interested in that. Mm-hmm. 
Mhm. Mhm. There is. God, there's so many wrong things about saying that. What's so wrong about losing memories? But there's some people that cherish those times together. He's basically trying to think of the, the positive side of losing memories right here. Making excuses. He's basically making, he's just trying to like hide the fact that, oh, fuck it. Mm-hmm. There we go. There we go. Mm-hmm. Two years ago. I do wonder what happened two years ago. Hmm. Yep. Of course. Of course. Obviously, to bring her back, I guess. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's always this sort of generic cliche stuff where a villain do that does it for to bring back their loved ones. Mm -hmm. So asking him for help. Of course. Kirito loses his memories, basically he loses his current self and there we go, edgy. Yuki Asuna. Aww, how cute. Of course you want to meet up with her. How could you want to not want to see your girlfriend? <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No one's home. No one's home. No one's home. So you shouldn't do know what to do, Kirito. Nah, he's not gonna do it. <laughs> He's not that person. By the way, is this his first time in uh, Asuna's house? I think so. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, he can't be to a room in SAO world in Ancrad, so I think he got used to it. But still, you're in an actual girl's room, so calm your f down. Smells good. <laughs> Sit down. And here we go. Her diary or album, whatever the thing is. A diary. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So basically, they know each other for four years, so the relationship is basically solid. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm, of course. 
she's still determined to stay she's still determined to be with Kirito regardless she's determined to like keep their love alive that shows how much Asuna really loved Kirito this is why I kind of had to respect the relationship and like despite the fact that Kimo wanted to ship Alice and Kirito mm -hmm. I know it's very touching I know if my girlfriend just said something like this I'll be even more t I'll be so touched you can tell from his face man Kirito is really touched by this Hmm. Hmm. He's ten times fired up now. Ah, <laughs> uh, here we go. Here we go. The best moment of all the whole movie itself. Love. I just love this moment from the movie. There we go. She's fine with it, you know. You can freely see her face. She's fine with it. She, her, she's putting her, his face on her breast, and she's fine with it because you know they kind of did it in sixteen point five. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, this is so beautiful. <laughs> the I just love this moment so much. Mm. Oh. So beautiful. This has to be the best moment of the whole movie itself. This shows that the love is strong for each other and it needs to be respected too. Hmm. He's 10 times more fired up now. Hmm. But then you have to feel sad for these two, man. If you, yeah, you kind of have to feel sad for these two. Hmm. 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 Yep. Yep. Mm. The big boss is him, the creator. Mm hmm. Mm. Yep, all those memories gathering together to form <sighs> Yuna's memories. The next location. Or he's just going to investigate. He's there to investigate. Is this a Meiji Shrine? I think this is a Meiji Shrine. And she's behind you. Creepily. See, dude, that's so creepy though. Hey. Whoa. Wow, just like that, he's inside. I, um, oh, you know, scale. Hey. Mhm. Mm yep, that's her name. Mhm. Mm 
Mm -hmm. Memories. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep, here we go. Here we go. Basically, it's the ghost of her in here. She does not know about it. Actually, she just kind of know about it. And she starts singing. How nice. Mm hmm Mm hmm <laughs> Well, wow, easy said and done. But he's gonna do it anyways. He's gonna do the Kirito way. Hey, he's awake. <laughs> <laughs> he just slept on a bush. So basically, Kirito had to like raise his rank. Yeah, well, easy said and done though, but he's gonna do it anyways. He's Kirito after all. Mm -hmm. Hey hey. Of course, man. He wants to get all those points and get to number one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> of course, a little sister has to teach her Nishan. Oh, excuse me, cousin. Mm-hmm. There we go, look at Kirito, doing all for himself. Hey! Nice one, Kirito. He's back, he's back to his old self. Oh, from one boss to another. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. But Kirito, though, you have to be careful, though. You, you, you obviously, fatigue would be uh, a thing. Yep. He's desperate. He's that desperate. No, no, no. He's doing this to for this for the sake of his, you know, Asuna. Yep, she, she yep, Kirito doesn't really care about it. Oh no, no, his life points. Yeah, this is why you have to be careful, Kirito. There we go. Hey, hey. oh. Does this give you some sort of nostalgic feeling of, you know, when the SAO survived during the Aincraft, they had to be careful of losing their life or else to die? Yeah, this sort of feeling. Well, he's desperate, that's why. <laughs> there we go, he figured it out.
you should not have done that AG. He kind of he figured out your strength, how you you're your cheat code basically. Mm-hmm, <laughs> look at Kiryu to training with his sister. <laughs> and it's time for the big concert. And we are 35 minutes away to the end of the movie too. <laughs> I say this is a really nice stadium. Yeah, he's in the toilet. More like he's going for confront AG himself. So beating AG is is enough to to get him up to number one. Mm hmm. Oh, of course, man. Oh, of course. Mm hmm. <laughs> Of course. Asuna. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, he has his he has his game plan. He has his game plan, so he's fine. <laughs> Let's do this. Oh, break free bark! Let's do this! Ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-
new technology. Mm-hmm. Mm. <laughs> Hey, there we go. Hey. hey. And now Kyoto can beat the crap out of him. Hey. Uh-huh. Oh, look at him being all this cool person. And that will be the last we saw the singing Yuna. I know it's weird because he stopped singing. <laughs> well, we'll see. Tanos got that, got that. And she's gone. Just like that. Mmm. Basically, they're trapped. They had to fight all the bosses. So basically, they trap all the people in here, which you know, finish off the all the survivors too. Mm hmm. Yep, exactly. That is the grand the grand plan. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and people die. Here we go. Here we go. People lose their life here, they die. Hey. Mm -hmm. And all those SAO bosses. They're locked in. Hey. And another one. Oh, it's the Minotaur. It's the Minotaur! Kirito! Here we go! Well, yeah. He's the only one can fight. Mm hmm. But he does. <laughs> yep. Wow. Hmm. Hey, hey. <laughs> 
And thing went haywall. Everything went haywall. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Well, you know, he's doing it for the sake of his daughter, so I, can't, I understand the reason why he's doing it. That's finally a villain that can make uh, the action makes sense. It's just basically what a fa it's basically a father doing a, a job for the the loved ones. I know it's fucked up, but <laughs> wow, the the hard way. <laughs> He's behind. Yep, he's inside a shell. He's inside the shell. No, 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 he's not. You one last job, your memory, Sue. Exactly, because she has the most memories of you now. Exactly. Fucking. This father, man. See? You you basically you basically fell right into the devil plan. You fell right into his plan. Hey, look, it's you now. Okay, okay, go there. Okay, yep, yep, yep. So I think a full dive here. Mm -hmm. Some modification, and now they're diving in. <laughs> of course, go and defeat the final boss, and and everything's solved. Hey, the ring. Mhm. Mm you start though. Now they go to defeat the final boss to save everyone. How 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 nice. And here we go, the final boss. A very creepy looking one too. And a very big one too. Oh! Hey, nice block. <laughs> oh, damn. It's not gonna be that easy, huh? Oh, fuck. Oh, oh, oh. Dude, it has a barrier, for God's sake. Hey. Hey. Nice. A forest, a giant tree to heal. There we go. Yep. Team, uh, we need more members, of course. Oh, ho ho. Seems that's not gonna be that easy. <laughs> I totally forgot how they actually struggle in this.
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wow, it's basically season one stuff again. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Mm hmm. But he's doing this for everyone, so he let him do his job. Ah, oh, here we go. Inspiration right there. So it's basically a season one first half, uh, season one first half all over again. How nice, some nostalgic feeling. So Asuna now to decide to tag it along because she wanted to survive being the useless one again. Mm-hmm. Let's do this. Hey hey. Oh, oh. 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 Oh fuck. Eh hey, hey. It's Asuna. Oh, love the background music, man. Hey hey. <laughs> <laughs> Of course she will. Of course she will fight. Hmm. Hey, hey. Hey, she lost her eye. Thank you, Asuna. Oh, ho. Everyone tags along. There we go. Really? Come on. Really? Need to do that close up? <laughs> Coming out of the bridge. Hey, every, everyone tags along. How nice. Oh, clients here too. <laughs> hey. Even the GGO player is here. <laughs> mm -hmm. Everyone got their account back. The black source. Hey, the, the Aincred outfit. How cute. Mm hmm. Yep. Even she got back to her GEO form. Let's do this. The double blade here, so. Oh, here we go. The epic background music. <laughs> hey. Oh, nice. Oh damn! Hey, hey. oh, <laughs> nice. Oh man, unlimited budget work right here, guys. Unlimited budget work right here. <laughs> hey. hey. No healing this time for you. Oh, teamwork. Boom. Hey. Oh, the teamwork is here, guys. Such a nostalgic feeling, man. Yuki! Hey! Oh, hey. Asuna. Oh. Double blade! Ah, ah, ah. Nice! Oh, hey. Beautiful, just beautiful. This is what you call a limited budget works. Ufutopo, you have a competitor. Hey, look, it's a big sword. Mm 
Mhm. Kaiwa. So they successfully cleared SAO, something they wasn't able to do so back in season one. <laughs> Hey, of course, Kirito. Ah, uh, hey, it's Kirito with his gigantic sword. Mm hmm, number one player, number two. Mm hmm. Oh, here we go. Bawo anata ga kureta. Now I was fired up. Ishi te toki ni wa. Because our music calmed them down. So they had to, they just had to read to 10,000. Oh my god. <laughs> Fuck so Ophi. Mm hmm. Ah, it's too too bad about you, huh? Hmm. Mm. That's what they always say. That's what they always say. Hey, hey. Oh my god, this is so OP by Kirito. <laughs> this is OP to the next level. If only he has the sword in War of the Underworld, then that would be even epic. And there it is. Mm hmm That's the last you see of her, I think. Well, War of the Underworld needs some explanation of that scene where we get to see the mysterious person which confirms Edgy e e and Yuna. So explain this, noble readers. Well, yeah, but, but explain the War of the Underworld scene from episode 11. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> Goodbye, Yuna, for now. <sighs> man, I can't kind of feel bad for uh, Edgy, man. He just lost his loved one. So it's kind of understandable why he did all that because he's doing it for Yuna's sake. But you know, yeah, see, they all remember her because he sang. Hmm. Oh man, really? You had to show me that scene just to make me feel bad for them. Resigned. <laughs> I do wonder why. <laughs> yeah, that's a lie. That's a that's a lie. He's just bullshitting right now. He just he just with gay girls.
Mm-hmm. Well, they're on the date. Oh no, they're worried. Your side, your come back when you're the main character, Klein. Come back when you're the main character. <laughs> Mm -hmm. There we go. Look at them staying the night together. Staying the night together, looking under the stars sky. Gonna do something. Do he's gonna do something inside the tent? I can see it happening, anyways. Mm hmm. Ah. Uh, I'm pretty sure she's fine with it. I'm pretty sure she did, she, she did something with her with Asuna's father before. Like, so she can she at least understand her daughter's love feeling. See, this is tied to be the most romantic moment ever. Man, this is so romantic. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm This has to be the beautiful moment, but I would say the part where Kirito determined determined to rescue Anderson now and kiss him in the bed, that's the more that's to me that's more that's more touching than this, to be honest. For fuck's sake, just get married already. <laughs> Asuna, I propose to you. Ah, <sighs> Fuck you, Yuki. <laughs> Just hate it when someone that told me like this happened. <sighs> this is so beautiful. They kiss. There we go. SEO incident. <laughs> and now we move on to season three, which apparently I reacted to it two years ago. <laughs> Ordinal scale. Dun 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 dun. Dun 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 いつも僕 Catch it the moment. Oh, love Lisa. I love. I just love catch the moment, man. That's one of the best um, ending thing by Lisa. So yeah, this movie not bad. I just say it. I, I now remind, kind of reminded me why I really enjoyed this movie. A lot. I know it has some flaws to it, like in terms of plot convenience and stuff like that. Like where you get to see Kyoto become overpowered in the end because he's determined to rescue Asuna. Uh, I mean, he kind of worked for it though, but 
it kind of been fast forwarded. I want to see along the way how he struggled, but you know, before some fan purposes, you want to see Kirito like back to his old self and and trying to like fight all those bosses to get all the way near the top. So other than the the easily plot convenience way, see Kirito just easily become overpowered again. As you said, the movie itself is amazing. We get to see some, uh, we, we see some real emotional feeling in this movie too, especially Asuna, where she didn't want to lose her memories of SAO. I, I know he said that losing uh, SAO memories are not really worth it, but you know, for, to Asuna, it uh, means a lot to her because, like, you know, that's what ha that's basically how Kirito and Asuna relationship become a meme. So, yeah. So. I mean, obviously, for, for all the survivors, some of them say, "Oh, I would rather lose my memories of the traumatic moment of the SEO time." But some of them are like means a lot because that's when they form friendship, that's that's form companionship, that's when they found love and stuff like that. So, it's fifty fifty basically. So, it, it, it didn't take that into consideration. AG didn't use that uh, uh, um, like a fair argument, but you know, he just only cares about bringing um, Yuna, Yuna back. But in the end, he lost his loved one right again. But to be honest, I feel I feel, I feel weird that A One Picture showed the scene where Edgy, Ag and Yuna holding hands. That in that way, he kind of wanted us to feel pity for them. Really, man. <laughs> so we're gonna see some extra scene near the end. Yep, the beautiful moment where Asuna and Kirito kiss. And they made the mother. They met the mother. Ah, oh, how adorable. Look at them on the train. Catches the moment. And of course, they kept the ring. Dude, for God's sake, just get married already. And here we go, the post credit scene. Of course, he wants you for their, their, their project, Alicization. Uh, intriguing, see? Mm -hmm. Of course, using those virtual AI thing to create for the fucking association. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There we go. Okay, so wrath. SAO will return! Hey! Oh my god. I can tell you guys this. When that announcement made SAO will return, 50% of people in the theater say, Yeah! And 50% of the people in the theater say, oh, Are you kidding me? When will, when will SAO finish? Yeah, you know, 50, actually, if there's 50 50 people say, Like, you know, um. <laughs> Oh my god, another, uh, again, SAO have another season and stuff like that. I remember clearly in the cinema, people were kind of complaining that they get season 3, but for me, I'm, I'm kind of, I'm really happy when season 3 was announced. And from that point on, we react to Addison Station episode 1. I know. Well, um, two years later, Addison Station came out. I reacted, by the way, I reacted to episode 1 um, all the, two years ago in my old channel. I, I, I actually brought the episode 1 reaction into my new channel so you guys can go and check it out. It's in my just go really deep into my new channel and you see it. Um so yeah. SAO. On our on your scale. Uh, one of the original adaptation after season two. To be honest, after season two, I was kinda of expecting in season three, but they have a movie instead, so that's like a well compensated wait after two years after the season to finish, so wow. Come to think of it, watching it again kind of reminds me of how amazing the movie was. I really enjoyed the movie. I give it 8 out of 10, by the way. I'm giving this movie 8 out of 10. Um, yeah, you know, the, the main reason because like, I, I really enjoy Yuna's music. By the way, I download three of her, three of her music. Um, 
So you can say that um, I really enjoy Yuna's music a lot. I, I I've been listening to it since 2017, and yeah. Um, also because like uh, the the drama in this show is also quite amazing too. Um, not not only the, only the fact we get to see some real uh, struggle, real feelings, and some essay SAO season one sort of like um, nostalgic feeling where people die when they kill in the game. So that's sort of feeling. So. Yeah, we get some nostalgic feeling of that, especially with the fact when in, in, when they're in the, like the stadium thing. So yeah, here we go. Uh, I've been having her song for a long time. I've been listening to her song. My my personal favorite is uh, Break Big Bark because like that's I love the tune that song by the way. So I've been listening to Break Big Bark for um sin, uh, a lot compared to compared to like uh UB uh, DB DB what's it UB DB and Longing. Oh yeah, her song is Longing. So yeah, wow, the movie, beautiful animation, love it, all in a scale, I have to say, A1 Picture really stepped up with the uh, fight scene animation, I just say, they, they really provide some competition for you first of all with the, with the fight scene though, I have to say, that is some beautiful artwork right there, and some, and some beautiful background music by Yuki Kajira again, I mean, Yuki Kajira staying loyal to fate and SAO, I'm very glad. And so yeah, I'm I'm just kind of happy to see, see uh, watch rewatch this movie again because I never got a chance to rewatch it after like I watched it in the cinema. It was the BD was released a year after I watched it. So after, when the year when it was uh, released a year later, SAO season three LSE LSE season was announced. I I just got more excited for LSE season, so I didn't have it. I didn't really bother watching the ordinary scale again. But until now, of course. So yeah, basically in the end of episode where you know. They, they, they told me about the, the Project Wrath, basically Project Alice's station. Season 3 kicks in and then we have Kirito testing out the, 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 the project with Alice and yu episode 1 and that's where everything began. Kirito uh, pretty much got stabbed in the heart, uh, stabbed with the, the, the drugs and then you know that's the adventure begins. And so you guys want some nostalgic um, or, 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 you know, uh, sequel to order, Ordinal Scale, watch Alice's station. That's a perfect sequel. But you know, kind of still, come, still kind of baffles me how did you, um, Yuna survive? Because like you know, we saw this mysterious person near the end of, of episode one, uh, episode eleven, where we saw this mis. We pretty much we confirmed that it was you, you, uh, Yuji, um, um, Edgy and Yuna. So yeah, can't wait to see whether it is them, whether they play the good guy or the bad guy in the upcoming second half of War Beyond the World. So yeah, I mean this movie is not bad. I mean there's no Alice, that's for sure. There's no Alice, so I did not really enjoy it. I, I enjoy it, but not as much as I enjoy War of the Underworld because Alice, my girl, is in there. And but you know the, the one thing I really like about this movie is get you really get to see Asuna's feelings, really show how much she really loved Kirito, her determination to like not forget the moment for Kirito, and just show how much uh, those two are really really in love and just show how much uh, they care for each other how much respect how much like you know they really respect their love so that's some really nice moment where Asuna really showed uh, really write, her write down her diary wrote down her diary that you know she's going to forget this tell her future self not to forget this just show me that this really touched my heart a lot and and of course you know in the end of the uh, when in the final fight there's a lot of nostalgic feeling where Asuna and Kirito teamed up oh my god that feel uh, this just feels so emotional because I remember seeing that back in 2012 so oh my god so yeah this is hoping this is how uh, War of the Underworld second half which is even better than the first half of War of the Underworld because I'm really looking forward to the War of the Underworld it's because I heard you guys told me that it's even more epic and of course Asuna, Shinon, Lifa gonna join the fight and of course uh, all the players gonna join the fight too so amazing indeed and of course the, the also about Ordinal Scale we get to see Kirito actually struggle to fight in real life showing, showing that he needs to work for it but although in the end it's kind of like so kind of like you know kind of like cliche seeing the fact that he just got overpowered again so yeah so yeah hope you enjoyed watching today give it a enjoy give it a like enjoy reaction subscribe to my channel reaction video content and see you next reaction video which will be something as guess then and thank you so much for subscribing to my channel